The County District 2 Supervisor candidate Laura Hobbs this week filed a legal challenge against the winning candidate, Alan Long, and the Registrar of Voters, Kathy Darling-Allen. Action News Now reporter Taylor Helms is live outside the elections office in Reading. Taylor Hobbs lost by more than 3,300 votes. Is she asking for a District 2 recount? Yes, she is, Alan, and Assistant County Clerk Joanna Francisca tells me that she's been in meetings all day today working on trying to coordinate this recount. Now, Francisca tells me that she was expecting this recount request from Hobbs. She tells me that Hobbs actually asked for it before they even certified the election results. And Hobbs is asking for a manual recount, meaning they'll be counting it by hand, not with machines. The recount will have at least six full-time election staff counting, plus four volunteers and a supervisor at each table. As for how much it'll cost, that's a number Francisca is still trying to work out. The estimate is going to include every single cost, so direct salaries for staff and benefits, any supplies that are used, paper, you know, highlighters, all that stuff that's all included. And then they have to, the voter request recounts, they have to pay for a board, a recount board. So we're going to reach out for volunteers and those volunteers each get paid $100 a day. So that's all included in the count cost for the recount. This is video from the Shasta County Clerk and Elections live stream on Facebook during the Kevin Cry recall audit. You can see Hobbs in the far right observing that count. Francisca says during the District 2 recount process, a candidate can have a representative get a closer look at the recounting process, including Hobbs herself. But this recount won't start until Hobbs pays for it. Live in Reading, Taylor Helms, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. All right, thank you for that report.